Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and this is the first video of 2024 in the first review video of 2024. And I'm bringing it in with Nova 3D and their TGM resin. Now this TGM resin was designed specifically for miniature printing, and it's supposed to be unique in that the miniatures that you print with this resin are supposed to be quite robust. They say that they're going to be unbreakable from about one meter in the sky, so basically a little over three feet, and then smaller parts are supposed to be able to bend quite a bit without breaking. So if you are into miniature painting, maybe you got a 3D printer for Christmas, TGM resin might be the way to go. We're going to check this out for sure. This is the dark beige version in the 1000 um, gram bottle. And you can pick this up on their website and they're selling it for around $36. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to that. And I'm not exaggerating in what I just said. I'm looking right on the website right now and it specifically says that the TGM resin model won't get any damage when it falls from a one meter high desk. All right, so that's what they say and we're definitely gonna put it to the test. So right after this jump cut, I'm gonna show you the models that I printed. We're gonna take a look at the details and then I'm gonna head down to the garage and perform some drop tests. I just finished printing out a handful of these miniatures and take a look at them here. This is just to show you roughly what the color is going to be like with these guys. They have a sort of a light brownish kind of a color to them, sort of like a pale brown almost, and also what some of the detail is going to be like with them. So with these models, I printed them with an exposure time of two seconds, and then my bottom layers was 40 seconds. Um, I didn't have any problem getting the prints off of the bill plate at all. In fact, the first time I printed with these, right when they were finished, I took them off the build plate. And let me tell you, even though I need to use a flex plate, the scraper just slid right under those first layers like butter and just popped off really easily. And the support removal was also easy as well. Now, here's the thing. I did have a couple of mishaps with these guys as far as some broken parts go before I cured them. So I don't wanna blame that on the resin, I blame that on myself. So one of the mishaps I had here was with one of these um, models, like this guy right here, uh, this flail that he has, is supposed to have three spiked balls attached to it. But I dropped this into my curing basket, you know, kind of just haphazardly, and, um, and ended up breaking off those two pieces there. So that was my fault. And then other thing with this guy here, he actually has a sword, this split sword right here. And then this also is something that I accidentally broke when I was taking off the supports and everything. So in order to test out the real strength of this stuff is I gotta do it when they've been cured. So you still have to be a little bit careful with your support remover and everything like that. But since we do have this out right now, we can do some little flexibility in bend tests before I take these to the garage and try to physically break them. All right, so let's start with this broken sword here. So here is part of the broken sword it is a split sword right down the middle. It's supposed to be like that. But now that it is split, let's just try some bend tests with this. So I'm gonna take this end and bend, bend, bend. And then that was the point that I can get it to before it actually snapped off. Let's try it with this side now. Bend, 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 bend. Boom snapped off. I got some other things that I wanna try here as well. So I think this would be a good example for a bend test because the handle on this ax is quite thin and these are the types of parts that can be bendable. All right, so let's try to bend and break this ax, see what kind of flexibility that we can get here. So we can see that all the way to that side. Let's just keep bending it. Bend, 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 bend. Wow, would you look at that? pretty much bending it back on itself and it still has not broken. Let's bring that right back up. And then it more or less retains this original form. There's a little bit of a bend to it, but as you can see, I bent this all the way and now it's gone. So you can't keep doing it over and over again, but just from that one example, it bent a pretty decent amount. Um, let's try this part right here to see how far we can bend this. Bending, bending, and that one snapped too. All right, so that was a pretty good bend on the top part of that ax. So this stuff is not like rubber. It's not gonna continuously uh, keep bending, bending, bending. 
it will break eventually, but that was pretty good. And now not, last but not least, let's try this guy with this flail, flail here. And this is also quite thin. So this is on a chain. That one didn't take much at all. So it does kind of just depend on the model itself. That was just on a very thin chain. It was able to break quite easily, but the staff was um, a lot more bendable. So it is just gonna kind of depend on what the part is that you're trying to bend before you can see if it actually breaks or not. All right, so with that done, I'm gonna take these down into the garage with the hard floor and we're gonna do some drop tests. Now they say that these are unbreakable from one meter, so that's about three feet. So I'm gonna start at that position, pretty much like three feet, dropping them a few times, see what happens. And then if need be, I'll raise them up a little bit higher for like a standard six feet in the air drop test, which is what I usually do when I review tougher resin. So let's head down into the garage and see what happens. All right, so the first one that I'm gonna drop is this big guy right here. And I gotta tell you, I'm not feeling too good about this because I accidentally broke off one of these pieces, just taking it out of the bag and I guess putting a little bit too much pressure on it. It was really just basic handling. So I don't know how well this is going to take, but I'm gonna drop this from about three feet in the from this desk that I'm tapping on right here, this right here, and see what happens. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, whoopsie. That other part, it did indeed break off. So unbreakable from about three feet, not in this test. I'm gonna drop them a few more times. Something else broke off too. Let's do it one more time. Each time I dropped it, something fell off, including his head. His head also fell off. So yeah, um, I don't know guys, this, this uh, resin doesn't seem to be as tough as I was hoping. Let's try for some more tests. I'm gonna try with this Griffin here. This Griffin didn't print perfectly, but we're still gonna drop them. Here we go, three feet, three, two, one. The wing broke off. <clears throat> I'm not gonna even drop this anymore. One drop was enough to break off this wing. So that kind of tells you where that's at. Next up is this knight with the ax. We were bending it until we finally were able to break it. So let's see how this guy holds up. After four drops, we can see that the shield has split and the rest of the handle for his ax is now gone. Next up is the guy that had the flail. Let's see how he holds up. Holy moly. Guys, look at this. One drop, three feet. The cape has broken off. The shield is split. You know, I had some more models to test, but I think this pretty much shows you about the durability of what the models are gonna be with this resin. I don't think we need to see anything else. Just to give you a real quick comparison, this is a model that I printed out previously with a tough resin from another company, and I just had him sitting down here. You can see, I think he's been subject to a drop test before, but let's give him another drop test right here on this ground for from the same height and see what happens. He too has a shield. Here we go. Not sure if you saw that, but let's do it again. I'm just keep dropping. I'm dropping him from a higher distance. Higher distance still. And this is what he's looking like now. I didn't hear anything break off, but you can see like these little pointy bits on top of his head, that's still there. The pointy bits on his armor right there, that's still there. The shield is not split. The loincloth is still there. The spikes on his, uh, sort of like his thigh armor is still there. This is what I come to expect when it comes to a resin that's nice and tough and protects the models against falls. And this did great, but the ones that were printed with the uh, TGM resin, like this one, not so much. I gotta be honest with you guys, I am disappointed. 
I'm disappointed in how those drop tests turned out because I came into this thinking that this TGM resin was probably going to be the best resin that I've used as far as testing the durability of minis and the bendability of the weapons or accessories that those miniatures have. I really had higher expectations and I'm just disappointed with how it turned out. Um, going back and thinking about it, even holding those miniatures in my hand, in my mind, I was thinking these don't feel too tough. They feel like they're brittle. But I thought that before with another tough resin that I tried in the past and the results turned out to be pretty decent. It was a water washable tough resin, I believe. But as soon as I got into that garage and I was going to test that first miniature and I took him out of the bag and somehow the little halo part on him broke off. I don't know how he broke off. I didn't drop him. I didn't. I don't know what I did. But at that point, I was like, this is probably not going to end well. And I don't come out to make reviews about things and just bash them and be mean and just vindictive and spiteful. No, I, when I do these types of reviews, I just want to be honest. I want to show you exactly what happened. And usually the results are good, but in this case, they weren't. You saw what happened. I dropped them and I dropped them from about three feet. I dropped them from a lower height than I usually perform these drop tests. And they were just kind of shattering. If you told me that this resin was specifically used to make miniatures strong and durable and bendable, I'm like, okay, well, maybe the bendable part is right, but definitely, definitely the impact resistance is not there at all. It was like I was using a regular resin. So I'm not sure what happened. Nova 3D, is there anything that I did wrong when I printed these guys? I, I don't think I did anything wrong. And at the same time, if there is something that I did do wrong, then there needs to be some very detailed instructions on what you need to do right. Because as a regular person who just goes and purchases this kind of a resin in order to have strong durability for their miniatures, they're just going to print them and they're not going to think I need to do something really specific in order to get the maximum amount of strength. That's not something that I've done with other tough resins. You know, I printed them and they look good. See, like, do I need to change any settings or anything? They look good to me. I'm not going to change a thing. I perform drop tests and I say, this is how they held up. Okay, so if I don't have to do anything really special with those miniatures to get them to perform the way that they're advertised, then I shouldn't need to do anything special or specific to this one type of resin in order to get the same, if not better results from other that I saw with other products is what I'm trying to say. So it's a miss. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. So that was the Nova 3D TGM resin for miniatures. And in my experience, it just did not work out. It is what it is. You saw what happened. So that is it for this review, this honest review. And uh, there's always going to be some more coming. So if you want to see more stuff like this, try to give you an idea of the best places to spend your money when it comes to products related to 3D printing or action figures and stuff like that. Be sure to subscribe so that you can always come back and see what else I got cooking. So until then, take care of yourselves. I'll speak to you soon.